in chapter 4 in page number 261 there is a question question number 26 i'll read the question compare the electromagnetic oscillations of lc circuit with the mechanical oscillations of block spring system qualitatively to find the expression for angular frequency of lc oscillator such a question is given in page number 261 now we are going to analyze both the two oscillations and we are going to list out the uh, factors which are analogous to each other okay first i will explain what are the kind of oscillations are generated in both the two system here two systems are there one is spring mass system already this is familiar to you you may have already done the experimental 11th standard here one mass is tied up with a spring if it is pulled what will happen that one will be moving here and there in the upward and downward direction you could see the vertical oscillations okay so this is called spring mass system in which mechanical oscillations could be set up this is the thing which is called tank circuit in which one capacitor and inductor both are connected in parallel form uh, here if the capacitor is charged if the charged charges when they are discharged through the L what will happen the current it starts moving in the direction so alternatively the direction of current will be changing in its direction and also in magnitude and finally we will be getting the oscillatory current these kind of oscillations are called electromagnetic oscillations are you clear now we are going to compare the spring mass system and the LC oscillator system in spring mass system mechanical oscillations are set up in LC oscillator electromagnetic oscillations are set up now we have to compare the mechanical oscillation and electromagnetic oscillation there from several factors can be compared our ultimate aim is to get the value of omega in LC oscillator by comparing with the spring mass system okay very interesting one if such question is asked in the examination try to attend this look at the tabular column so in which several factors to be uh, compared in both the two two system look at the uh, <coughs> picture first thing is element element means the component which is connected in both the two system to be compared element one in which two things can be compared here uh, this is the mass which is tied up this mass that can be compared with L because mass only determines the inertial factor in spring mass system their L self inductance of the coil that one determines the inductance are you clear inertial factor is determined by L therefore M mass can be compared with L therefore M mass is compared with which one inductor or inductance are you clear so the L of inductor can be compared with M like that one more element is there that is spring in the spring alone what will happen the energy is stored up if it is pulled if the mass is pulled the energy is initially stored up in the spring like that uh, to make the to create the electromagnetic oscillation first charges to be stored in the capacitor therefore the spring that can be can be compared with which one the capacitor therefore uh, spring can be compared with which one the capacitor are you clear so spring is compared with capacitor next one is inertial factor inertial factor is m are you clear and there the inertial factor is l inductance are you clear simply i have written the elements later we are comparing the factors mobile 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 things mobile thing means which one moves which one is moving here and there that is the question here here the m when it is pulled it is moving up to certain extent that is called displacement the displacement is called mobile are you clear displacement can be written as what is this x in the case of spring mass system there which one is moving the clear once the charges are discharged the current starts moving are you clear the current starts moving means actually which one is moving charges are they start to move 
therefore charges can be compared with charges can be compared with which one x are you clear so from displacement we are able to calculate the velocity are you clear so therefore v is nothing but dx by dt are you clear v is equal to dx by dt velocity is there in the case of mass when it is moving here and there the oscillatory mass is having velocity that can be obtained by differentiating x with respect to time you will get velocity their charges they start to move their mobility is measured with respect to time there from you will get current therefore current i is equal to dq by dt are you clear so we are comparing the things one by one in the case of spring mass system how to calculate the potential energy that is a question now potential energy in the case of spring mass system already you know the formula half k x square here k is called spring constant potential energy in the case of spring mass system is half k x square in the oscillatory condition in the lc oscillator the same kind of potential energy that can be compared compared with which one oscillatory system there the potential energy is compared with electrical energy are you clear that electrical energy can be compared with which one potential energy so therefore already i have told the uh, k the spring that is compared with c so the energy stored in the capacitor can be compared with the energy stored in the spring the energy stored in the capacitor that can be compared with the energy stored in the spring therefore that electric energy can be called as what is this e e that is nothing but q square divided by 2c q square divided by 2c can be written so this is the formula to calculate the energy stored in the capacitor next one is that mass that mass it is moving here and there no there definitely it should have kinetic energy the kinetic energy of the spring mass system is nothing but half mv square are you clear this one can be compared with the energy which is stored in the l are you clear are you clear energy stored in the l can be compared with the kinetic energy of the mass system so what is the formula that is nothing but the energy is stored in the form of magnetic energy no that magnetic energy which is stored in the spring can be written as half l i square half l i square now if you add this two you will get the total mechanical energy so the total mechanical energy is a sum of potential energy and kinetic energy therefore we can write half kx square plus half mv square like this the electromagnetic energy this is in the form of electric energy this is in the form of magnetic energy if both are added you can call it as electromagnetic energy now that is addition of electric energy and magnetic energy therefore we can write it as q square divided by 2c plus half l i square so we can write like this now we can compare certain things are you clear so here already i have told that x is compared with q x is here q is there therefore k can be compared with that k can be compared with 1 by c so from the comparison we can write k is equal to what is this 1 by c are you clear k spring constant is equal to reciprocal of the capacitance both can be compared are you clear here m is there half is there v square is there v square is compared with i square half half can be compared the remaining factor is m that m can be compared with l so m is nothing but what is this l so both are written any doubt on this finally we are going to calculate the angular frequency already in the previous chapters we have learnt the omega formula for spring mass system omega can be written as square root of omega can be written as square root of k by m is the formula k by m is the formula to calculate the omega in spring mass system now we know the factor called k 
we know the factor called m so instead of k and m you can substitute and you will get the omega for lc oscillator system omega is equal to now instead of k substitute 1 by c same square root must be written 1 by c can be written instead of k i have written are you clear into the clear here k is written in the numerator divided by clear instead of m l can be written any doubt on this so after writing this one finally you will be getting this two can be written within the uh, same square root are you clear therefore we can write omega is equal to that omega finally it can be written as this one can be written as 1 by square root of lc it can be written here the space is not available i will write it separately are you clear omega is equal to what is this square root of k by m in spring mass system we know the value of k we know the value of m therefore in the next step we can write instead of k we can write 1 by c is written divided by what is this instead of m we can substitute l this two factor can be written together in the next step therefore what will happen one is there itself this l and c both can be written together so ultimately the angular velocity formula is 1 by square root of what is this lc this is the angular frequency formula for which one the lc oscillator system very interesting one learn it properly definitely you will get mark just we have compared the mechanical oscillations in spring mass system and uh, electromagnetic oscillations in lc lc system lc oscillator system there from we have derived the angular uh, frequency formula in the case of lc oscillator system okay thank you